Hey divas, so in today's video, I'm here to share with you guys this braided unit that I'm rocking right now. So if you guys are interested, then definitely keep on watching. Okay divas, so jumping right in today, we have the Triangle Knotless Braid by Altre. I have her in the color number 1B. So here's how she looks. Her cap construction is small, but don't worry, I'm going to do my best today. It does come with two combs in the front as well as a comb in the back with the adjustable straps. And it also comes with an elastic adjustable band. So kudos to Outre for that. Here is how the unit looks. The lace is really, really nice and it blends well. Um, this unit fits like a little bit just behind my hairline, so it is a little bit smaller. I am going to be installing it like a closure unit today, but I wanted to show you guys how it looks on my head before I do anything to it. Now on me, it does fall at about like a 28 to 30 inch. It does go all the way to my butt and a little bit past that. And the braids are just so neat, so I just wanted to kind of get a close up. Now I'm going to go in and make this unit work for me. I'm just going to let you guys watch. So I just tinted it and now I'm going to, you know, install it like a, maybe like a five by five closure, um, just so that it could work for me. But yeah, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to let you guys watch how I install it and make it work for me. And then of course you guys know, I'm going to finish out with my closing thoughts. She the rule for a bad man She be taking it slow for a bad man When she dropping the blow for a bad man They be carrying the go for a bad man See the way she the rule for a bad man She be taking it slow for a bad man When she dropping the blow for a bad man Nah, 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 nah They ginger me Yeah, they want to ginger me Okay, Diva, so now that you guys have gotten all the details and the specs on this braiding unit, I'm here to tell you guys how I feel about it, so let's just jump right in. Okay, Diva, so as you guys can see, today we have a, a triangle part um, knotless braided wig. I was super excited when I seen this wig come out because I was just like, oh my gosh, like, yes, honey, like, we, oh my gosh, like, we have gotten ourselves a affordable knotless braided wig hallelujah so anyways i was super excited i was like i have to try them i also have the other one as well with the square part so make sure you guys stay tuned for that one um i will be reviewing it soon so if you're not subscribed and you haven't hit that notification bell make sure you do it because that video will be coming up tomorrow so make sure you tune in for that but anyways um, here is this one. So it looks really good. I feel like Altre did a really good job with this one. But of course, we're going to have to go ahead and talk about the cons and the pros of this unit. So for me, as you guys seen in the beginning, I did struggle with the size of this unit. Um, I do have my head is about like 22 and a half inches. Okay, or maybe pushing to 23 like when my hair is not flat. So I have a big head in other words and um yeah this wig did not fit my head um so that's why i wasn't able to lay it down because it falls like back here and then it's just so it did not fit my head but i was like determined to make this wig work so i still was able to lay it down and everything i just went ahead and installed it like a five by five closure and that works perfectly because you really only have like a lot of room in this area anyways so it kind of worked and made sense so anyways that was the first struggle of this wig. I could not fit it. So, um, yeah, I had to pretty much make it work. As you guys can see, I tinted the lace. And the lace is not like a starky color, so it was very easy to tint and help it to blend in with my skin tone so that wasn't a problem also the adult hairs on here look really good aka baby hairs they look really good so all i did was go in and shorten them and then lay them down so um that was really easy i also really do like the braids the braids are very 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 neat i love the way they look they're just so freaking neat on me this does fall at like a 28 yeah like a 28 to 30 inch on me i am 5'2 and i do have a shorter neck okay so um if you're taller than me it might fall a little shorter if you're shorter than me it's gonna fall longer if you're my height girl this is how it's gonna fall so yeah i do love the braids and everything but i just wish that uh it was a little bit bigger um just because even with people that have a smaller head i feel like they would want the versatility to have it bigger rather than it being like just right or something like that because this could be a problem for small head people as well because if it's like if it's fitting too tight then that might not be good either um another thing is even if this unit would have fit my head like there is barely any so let me show you so there's like barely any room 
I don't know if you guys can see it, but like even if like there's barely any room over there for me to like do anything with. So I don't know. For me, I do like it because it is like something that's very new, you know, to the synthetic wig community. And it looks it looks really good. As you guys can see, like the wig doesn't look bad. But it was just unfortunate for me that it doesn't fit. I am crossing my fingers that the other one fits because I already adore it even though I haven't took it off the box I already adore it and I'm just like this is going to be my summertime bay okay like this is when I want braids in the summertime trying to hit the beach or the pool that's the wig I want to go to so I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that it fits but this one didn't for me but other than that I feel like it's still a very good wig the braids are very neat I'm obsessed with like the way that they part they are parted and everything also the hairline looks really really good I was able to melt it down braids are neat um it's just I can't really agree with the cap construction because I got a big head so yeah but yeah it was overall i do like the unit i just wish that it was bigger so would i recommend it if you have a big head like me um i would recommend it to you because you definitely still can make this work and anyways it is a 13 by 4 so the majority of your parting space is going to be here anyways so if you installed it like a closure um the only benefits is that you would have something extra over here to help you make it look natural but it wouldn't be a problem so if you have a big head like me like this still can work for you so you don't have to feel discouraged about it you can just install it like a closure wig and put some bobby pins over here so you will not get clocked okay <laughs> i didn't do that but i'm gonna do it because i'm about to run a target and i'm not trying to get clocked um but if you have a smaller head i feel like this is going to be perfect for you because it's you know it's small head friendly so it's gonna be perfect for you so either way i would recommend it but yeah that is pretty much it i do hope that you guys did find this video very helpful and easy to follow if you did then please go ahead and give me a thumbs up be sure to leave me a comment down below i would love to hear from you fabulous divas and know what you guys are thinking and be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already and also hit that notification bell girl i do upload quite often so you definitely do not want to miss any of my videos but yeah, Divas, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.